This is an update to our 2019 iPhone screen mirroring tutorial. There's been a ton of updates since then, and now there's even better apps and methods to mirror your iPhone to TV, PC, or Mac. So whether it's for screen recording, for live streaming, or you wanna play a video game on a bigger screen, I'm gonna run through the best tools to do it. So there's really three main use cases for wanting to share your iPhone screen. The first is to share to a computer for live streaming or recording walkthroughs or tutorials. The second is to share your screen to a larger monitor, could be your computer, computer screen or a TV for when you're recording videos using the back camera on your phone so that you can monitor and see what's going on. And the third one is for getting your videos or your games off that tiny screen and onto a big TV in maybe your living room. So we're going to cover off all of these in this video and there's actually a few different ways to do each of them. Each way has some advantages and some disadvantages so I strongly suggest sticking around to make sure that you're getting the easiest one for what you're looking to do. Option number one is using QuickTime on Mac. Don't worry PC users I got you covered in the next one but if you're on a Mac this is a great option. All you need to do is plug your phone into the computer using a lightning cable. Go ahead and open up QuickTime and choose File New Movie Recorder. Click the little arrow next to the record button and select your iPhone and hey your screen is now mirrored to your computer. Now this will work in both portrait and in landscape and you do have the ability to hit record and to create videos of your screen recording here in QuickTime as well. One thing to note though, if you are recording, the moment you do rotate your phone, the recording will stop. So you will wanna set the orientation, portrait or landscape before you hit record. Now you've also got the ability here with QuickTime to now use this with your live streaming software as well. So all you need to do is open up your live streaming software, Ecamm, OBS or whatever you're using and choose screen share and then you can bring in this QuickTime window which now has your phone screen on it. So this is a great option not for just viewing what's on your phone but also recording and live streaming as well. And because you're connecting over a cable and not over Wi-Fi, it means there's next to no latency or delay and it's gonna give you a really high quality image. Now the other thing that's worth knowing is if you are gonna be using QuickTime to mirror your phone screen while you're using the built-in camera app on your iPhone, it'll work fine in portrait but it actually won't rotate over to landscape if you start filming in landscape. It used to work fine not that long ago, but it doesn't seem to work on any of the new devices. So you can still use it if you're gonna be creating portrait videos, or if you wanna create landscape videos, just use a different app like Filmic Pro, and your phone screen is gonna mirror through to your computer fine, so you can still monitor it that way. But the next option I've got for you will also get you around this problem. So option number two is using a piece of software called Reflector. And this is something you download and install on your Mac or PC, and this will let you wirelessly share your phone screen to your computer. So once you've got the app installed, you wanna make sure that your phone and your computer are on the same Wi-Fi network. You wanna swipe down from the top on your phone and select screen mirroring, and then you'll see your computer listed in there. When you select that, you might be prompted to enter a four digit pin number as a security measure, and then your phone screen will show up on your computer. Now, just like with QuickTime, you can now share this window with your live streaming software. So this is a great option for live streaming. You also have recording capabilities, so you can create videos in Reflector as well. And you've got a lot more options around quality and frame rates than you do with QuickTime. And Reflector will also automatically rotate your phone screen as well, even while you're recording and using the built-in camera app on iPhone 2, making it really a great option all round. There's also a ton of extra features in Reflector, like the ability to bring in multiple phone screens or device screens onto your computer at once. And even the ability to bring up a border or an overlay image of a phone or an iPad for your screen recording as well, just to add a bit more polish. Now, probably the biggest downside with Reflector or any of the other apps and solutions that we're gonna cover that use Wi-Fi or wireless to run the screen mirroring is that you're using wireless. So it can be really good if your Wi-Fi strength and reception is really good, but if it's not, if you've got patchy Wi-Fi or your Wi-Fi router is old and the transfer speeds aren't that good, then that can give you a bad experience. It can give you low quality video feed, choppy video, or even dropouts on your screen mirroring. Now in all of my tests, I think it is awesome. It was one of our top picks two years ago, and it's still one of my top picks today but you just need to be mindful if you've got bad Wi-Fi, you're probably not gonna get the best out of it. Now, in terms of pricing, there is a free trial version available that you can download and try and test this out and see how well it works for you. But to purchase the app and remove the trial watermark, it's gonna cost you $17.99 US for either Mac or PC, or you can buy a bundle pack for $19.99 US, which is gonna give you a license to use on either. Overall, like I said, this is one of my top picks. I think the quality is awesome. I think the usability in the app is awesome. And the amount of features and control you have have in there make it a really solid solution. 
Option number three is to use AirPlay, which is built into your phone. It's built into the latest Mac operating systems. It's also in a lot of smart TVs and Apple TV as well. So if you've got any of those devices, then you already have all you need to be able to mirror your phone screen. Now, if you do wanna use AirPlay on your Mac computer or laptop, you will need to make sure that you're running the latest Monterey operating system. But the process is pretty much what we showed you with a reflector. On your phone, you wanna swipe down from the top and select screen sharing, and all of your compatible devices will show up there on screen. So just select the device you wanna mirror to, and your phone screen is gonna appear on that device. Now, this is something that Apple TVs had built in for a long time, but it's so cool to see there's so many more new smart TVs that are integrating AirPlay in there as well. Now all of these will work in both portrait and landscape. They'll all let you play videos and play games on a bigger screen or on a different device, but none of them will let you record what's coming through the AirPlay feed. And in the case of mirroring to your computer screen, it actually takes over the whole computer. You currently can't do this in a window. You can't resize it down and have multiple things going on. It literally takes over your entire computer screen or multiple screens. If you've got multiple screens connected to your computer and you start mirroring your phone screen this way over AirPlay, it will take over both screens. So again, not really a deal breaker, but something to be aware of because this rules out using this method for live streaming because you won't be able to have any other apps on screen at the same time. The next option for mirroring your phone screen is to use live streaming software. Now there are so many different options out there for live streaming software on Mac and PC. My favorites that let you easily bring in your phone screen are Ecamm Live and ManyCam. But yeah, there's lots of others too. With both of these, you just need to plug your phone into the computer with USB and it's going to show up as a new video source. From there, you can use it as part of your live stream. You can create video recordings or you could just use it as a bigger screen to see what's going on on your phone. Now we'll say with this method of using live streaming software, it's really gonna be of benefit to people that maybe already have those live streaming programs or are going to be live streaming with their device. You could use it just to mirror your phone screen and to do simple recordings as well, but that's probably something that Reflector or QuickTime could do easier and cheaper. But if you are gonna be live streaming and your live streaming software supports bringing your phone in, then this can be a great way to do it and save you using additional software like Reflector as well. Now, if you wanna find out more about live streaming software and our top recommendations and even tutorials for live streaming, I'll have some linked in the description box below. The next option is to use an HDMI adapter and directly connect your phone into a TV or into a computer screen. So for this, you will need to purchase an HDMI adapter. You can pick them up on Amazon for as little as 25 to $30, but you just wanna plug that adapter into your phone and then run an HDMI cable from that adapter into your TV or into your computer screen. Now, the biggest benefit of connecting your phone to your TV or your computer screen this way is that there's gonna be no lag. There's gonna be no delay. There's gonna be a really high quality image coming through because you're directly physically cabled between the two devices. But that'll also mean that it's really just making your phone screen bigger. This method's not gonna be great for recording or live streaming but could be perfect for watching movies or playing games, especially if you don't have access to Wi-Fi or an Apple TV device. So those are my top options right now for mirroring your phone screen. The one that I personally use the most is Reflector. The beauty of it is, is it works on Mac, PC, but also iPhone and Android. And you can use it for all of those main use cases, for live streaming, just for mirroring your phone and for doing content recording as well. So now that you've got your phone mirroring sorted, if you wanna learn how you can create better videos with your iPhone, Check out the video linked on screen where I take you through a complete filming process end to end to help you get better results faster. I'll see you in the next one.